Hi everyone. I thought we'd start our one a week card series for Christmas today. One a week Wednesday. Sounded okay to me. Um, I figured if we can make one card a week from now until the second week of December, we'd actually get like 46 or 47 cards made. Um, the reason I thought of this is this year I had a really tough time getting stuff out and having it done and it was just kind of nutty. So um, I hope you enjoy. I hope we can go on this adventure together. It'll be kind of fun and just something to do and chat while we're doing it. Um, what I have below is a Knight of Navy Stampin' Up! Um, four and a quarter by five and a half regular A2 card. I did snip uh, corner round these two edges. One, two. Just because I thought it was really cute. Andrea Wolford actually made a card which she was inspired by from uh, I think a paper crafts magazine and I thought it was just such a cool and different look that I would try it. Um, my Cricut broke so everything is hand punched, hand ripped everything. Um, you're gonna laugh. Some of the stuff I punched out I use my old business cards. It seems I have some time on my hand so I thought we could do this and also um, I have a blog. I'm gonna put that below and you know maybe we could share some cards upload cards together um, so we'll go ahead and get started what I have what I did is I took Whisper White Stampin' Up! I do love Stampin' Up! for a card base but I took the Whisper White cut it at the five and a half and just ripped it and then I sprayed it with Tattered Angels Frost and Glacier to give it a colder look um, that way it was kind of groovy what I'm going to do is I have a swirl stamp from Stampin' Up! It's from a hostess set. Uh, it's, it's a while ago, a couple years. And I'm going to use that as the one and I figured I'd emboss it on there. So I'll use some VersaMark, my heating tool. It'll probably get a little noisy, but we can still have fun. So we'll go ahead and stamp now and get our VersaMark on there. Now I don't use my, um, my embossing buddy pal thing. I should. But I don't. Um, what I do is I just use a piece of paper and that way it's on there. I mean, I dump it in my embossing buddy later. And I'm also using um, just some regular... I don't even know who makes this to be honest with you. It's called... I don't know. But it's, it's a glittery snow. Winter Wonderland. Opaque. And it's stamping stuff. That's what it's, what it's by. So we'll go ahead and stamp that down and get everything on here. So here we go. I hope you can see. I hope this is a good angle. If not, let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and put a swirl here. And I like to just press a little harder than I probably need to because I'm paranoid that it won't stick. And then uh, put another one here just kind of connected and you'll see why in a sec we're going to have a snowman effect I'm going to dump some of my embossing powder on just kind of get it all over and then um, dump it off tap it hopefully it won't be too yeah that looks nice got a couple little spots but I think we'll be alright so we'll go ahead I move this over out of the way. I'll put that back. Put my lid on the embossing powder because you know what's going to happen, right? Yeah, me too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and emboss. It's going to be noisy, but it'll just be for a second. It took me a minute, I didn't see it turn, so. But there that is. Um, now what I wanna do is I, again, my Cricut is broke, so I had to uh, hand punch everything. So I used like a quarter inch square. My whole idea on this one is just a snowman with his hat in the wind. So I'm gonna stick his little hat there, see? Kinda covers the space so it looks like it's like whooshing away in the wind. 
And uh, I use my word window punch and my quarter inch square punch and I just kind of dip the hat so that it um, looked like it was flailing in the wind there. I thought that was fun. Um, and then I, I did, I used my business cards and I cut out three circles. And what I did is I cut them out at one inch, one and a quarter, and one and a three quarter just to have that really rounded effect. I'm going to stick my little snowman here. And as you can see, he's reaching for the hat like, oh no. I cut his arms out. I used the word window punch. I thought that was kind of easy. And I just, if you look here, I, cut, I slimmed his arms down. I, and I just cut a little carrot nose out of the, um, out of, uh, I can't remember, pumpkin pie from Stampin' Up. And I, I just had a scrap, so I just went from the corner in. Used a black um, Sharpie marker and made two little circles in them. I, I, I didn't make his hands look real, like, clawy. I tried that, and it looked kind of scary, and I didn't want to scare anybody. So I, um, I didn't do that. What I did is, uh, from the Hedgehog Christmas, that's an old Stampin' Up set, I have a... Wishing you and your friends happy memories because that's kind of funny. It's a fun memory to have Your hat fly off. I suppose if you're with the right people you could laugh about it, but um, I stamped it on I, Well to be honest a, a old business card and then I just am going to um, I use these for smaller pieces like little makeup brushes I get from the dollar store To give it a little bit of pizzazz and then um, maybe a squirt. Yeah, we'll just pop it on. There we go. See? And there's our first Christmas card. Done. I hope you can see it. I hope my lighting was okay. It's my first time here uh, in a long time with a new camera. And then um, there's the hat up close. The little wind. And there's my snowman face. And just kind of popped on three little circles. These little buttons. Bring it back down. Bear with me, guys. I will get a hold of this camera eventually, and hopefully, it's auto focusing. I, I don't know. Um, it's a newer camera. I, I was doing it with my phone for a long time. That was kind of nutty. And I'm having a hard time with my desk lamp. So if anybody has any ideas, oh, there we go. Let me know. Um, well, happy crafting. Here's our first card. I'll see you next week. And thanks for joining me. Have a good day.